If you've been on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, or any other place that has ponies in the last year and a half or so, you've probably run into videos of these cute 3D equines. This is called Open Pony, and it is a character model that was created in Second Life, a game that came out in 2003. Unfortunately, that also means it's a very janky program, but I'm going to make it as simple as possible to get your pony up and running. First things first, you're going to go to the description of the video and make a Second Life account. At character creation here, you can just skip it. You're not going to be a human, so it doesn't matter. At this screen, we're just going to go down to basic. I've played for about two years now and I've never touched any of that other stuff. It's all free. And on this one, we are going to skip their viewer because nobody uses it. Everyone uses fan viewers, which are way better than the original. We got Black Dragon over here, which has the MMORPG type controls. So if you're used to like World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy, you're probably going to like that one more. It also takes really good pictures. The next one on our list is Firestorm. This one is the most popular viewer. And if you come from a background in say Blender or some other kind of 3D modeling program, it's going to feel very good for you. And the final viewer on our list is going to be Alchemy. This one is known for having the best performance. So if you have a lower end computer, you might want to consider this later on if you're struggling to run Second Life, especially in the more populated areas. It's also the most updated of the current viewers, though that is probably going to change within the next month or so as the others catch up. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Black Dragon. Since Firestorm was extremely frustrating when I started off trying to remap my muscle memory, so head on down to the description, get a link to Black Dragon, download it, install it, and get ready to make your popin'. Once you finish downloading it, launch Black Dragon, punch in your login information down there at the bottom, and start the game. Now hit up the YouTube description again and find a link to Ponyville. You're going to take that link and slap it up at the top just like you would a web browser. If you decided to go the Black Dragon route, you're going to be using WASD to move and hold down right click to move your camera around. There is also a neat little feature in Second Life called Look At, so hold down the Alt key and then left click on things and you can zoom in and out and move your camera around them. Uh, we're going to make our way over to the Open Pony kiosk in front of us. Once there, click on it and you're going to have a little pop up in the corner, click Keep. And that will put it in your inventory, so click the suitcase here to open that. And just like a file structure in Windows, you're just going to have all your items that you equip and use in here. You can expand it in the corner. Uh, you might want to collapse the library tab if it's open, because you're not using that at all. And this is your open pony box. In Second Life, we do something called res. So you're going to drag that box out into the floor from your inventory. Click on it, and then click copy only. And that's going to copy everything in that box into a new folder in your inventory. We're going to clean things up a little bit, because it can get kind of messy. So I'm going to make three folders, one for just Luna, because I'm going to make a Luna. I'm going to make another one for junk, just for stuff I don't really want to have laying around. And finally one for open pony pieces, because we're going to have a lot of those. Your inventory can get very messy very quickly in this game, as you'll find out soon. So let's keep it nice and clean. Throw this other box back into the parts folder. Don't need that. And then we're going to res our stallion or mare box. I'm doing a mare because Luna. Uh, if you get that little pop-up for Nayberry, go ahead and keep that. It'll let you teleport there later. And we're going to clean up our trash, because that's kind of like the nice thing to do in Second Life. Delete your old junk on the ground. And then we click the mare box, just like the regular box will copy. So that'll create a folder in our inventory. As you can see, there's a lot of items. So tossing the old box into the parts folder. And now we're going to equip our pony. So right click the folder and click replace current outfit. You'll get a little pop up in the corner saying if you want to turn on reaction gestures, click yes. You're also going to get the expression HUD popping up covering everything in the bottom left corner. So go ahead and close that. And then we go through each and every one of these. We are not going to use a bomb. If you want an example of what a bomb looks like, it's basically just extra layers on top of your regular coat. So you can do stuff like this where you get like a bunch of speckles and stuff or moon stars, whatever. We are going to make a basic pony though. So let's remove these bomb layers here. And then we're going to remove the bomb skirt base for wings, the mare mane, the mare mane unicorn, mare tail, open pony mare cell shade, open pony ears cell shade, open pony wing cell shade, and unicorn horn cell shade. Get rid of all of them. Just double click them and that'll remove them from your pony. 
If your pony isn't a unicorn or pegasus, go ahead and remove the pegasus wings, the unicorn horn, and the wing hunt at the bottom. Uh, make it Luna, so I'm keeping all mine. We're then going to hold down control and click everything we removed. And drag it all down to the open pony parts folder. Get rid of it. So now we only have what we have equipped on this pony in this folder. Next up, we're going to go over the customization section where you can change your line color, your body color, your eyes, your eyelashes, all that good stuff. The top section, we have the body, and it has two sections, the cell and the main. So the main one is going to cover like your general body color and cell is going to be your lines. When it is green, it is on and active. So pick your color. You can also input a hex color if you want to be more accurate. I grabbed Luna's hex color before that, so hit the button down here in the corner and you can punch in your hex number and put it in and that's a more accurate Luna. Next up is the cells. So we're going to turn off the main and we're going to turn on the cells. Cells is going to be your ears, your horn, your mouth, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to eyeball this one, make it a little darker, nice and easy. And now we move on to the eye section. It's pretty basic, just pick an eye design. There's a lot of extra eye designs out there in the world, but we have five to choose from here. Got your bat eyes, your cat eyes, your regular eyes. Uh, in Luna's case, we're just gonna pick a regular eye. And over on the side, you can pick the color. Teal, you can also go use the hex code, which I picked up earlier. Clicking that little box, put in your hex code to get an exact color. We also have the Fulbright section, which in Second Life, Basically just means things are solid colors. There's no shadows, no nothing. It's going to show up at night. If it's really dark out, your eyes are just going to be beacons of light. The second option here is the glow slider. In Second Life, glow means it's going to light up the nearby area. So Fulbright won't do that. This will. If you want to just have flashlights on the front of your face that beacon everyone else, then that's the option. And finally, we have the eyelashes. These... Again, there's a million different ones out there that you can pick up from other people, but your default ones are pretty good. You got some good options here. You got a Egyptian style, you got a regular show style, whatever you want. I'm just going to pick a random one here for Luna. And that about covers it for colors. Over here in the corner, we're going to find our cutie mark box. Uh, you can upload your own custom textures, but this has a ton of them. So it's good to check it out and see what you can pick up. It costs about three cents to upload a cutie mark to Second Life, so it's not bad, but we're gonna check this box anyway. So just like all the other boxes, click it and click keep. It'll pop up in your inventory and you'll have a ton of textures. Uh, so as you can see, we got little Pips cutie mark here. Just a simple texture file. We're gonna find Luna in this list, if I can figure out the alphabet. And drag that over to the cutie mark box on your pony customization HUD. And as you can see, we now have a knockoff Kirkland brand Luna Cutie Mark. Now that that is done, we can wander back over to the middle area. We no longer need our customization hood. You can use it for further customization if you dig around in the extra tabs. But for now, we're just making a basic pony. So right click and detach. Next up is the smart card machine. This is going to give us a bunch of free money to get some cool stuff. But first, we're going to clean our inventory because, again, it's a nightmare. So let's keep that and then find the cutie mark folder, collapse it, drag it into our open pony parts folder. And then Sarah was my human, so I'm gonna throw that in the junk folder. And in our objects folder is our smart card. So double click it, or if you're not on Black Dragon, right click it and add. You're probably gonna get a little pop up here. Don't worry about that, just click okay. So in Second Life, we have Lindens. That's how creators make their money. So if people make mains, they can sell the mains and sell them for lindens. We have 1500 with our card to use on these machines right here. You can pick mains, tails, costumes. For now, I'm just going to pick up this uh, Cunning Curls for my knockoff Luna. As you can see when I click on it, it's going to pop up in our little HMark card in the corner. So click claim. And as usual, you'll see it pop up up there. Keep it. Hit F to land, so we are still flying. And like all the other boxes you've used so far, we're gonna drag it out of our inventory and put it on the ground. You can also close the card for now, just double click it to close it. So click the box, keep the contents of the box, and now we have a folder for the Cunning Curls main. 
and tail. Let's once again keep our inventory kinda clean so you can drag the original box to the open pony parts folder. And now open the folder for the cunning curls. Delete your box, keep it clean. And these are going to be resed as well, just like the boxes. So we're gonna drag them out onto the floor. This is gonna make them way easier to edit. So use your look at key, alt click, as I mentioned earlier. And we're gonna focus on the main for now. Right click it to edit it. And then go to the texture tab. Click the open white space right here. Now yours might look a little different. It could be a little smaller. It should just still say texture though. Go ahead and play with the sliders if you want. Um, unfortunately, here's a negative of Black Dragon. You have to have the RGB, which is also on that website I linked in the description so you can drag it from there. So fill in the RGB if you want an exactly accurate color for your pony. I'm just gonna eyeball it. For the tail, I'm gonna look at it, edit it, and then we're going to click the same thing, but we can use the dropper tool to copy the color from the main, make it a little easier. And now we're going to select individual strands on the main so we can have some different colors. So select face up in the corner there, click strands, hold down shift to select multiple strands, just like windows, and then change the color once again. To whatever you want. I'm just gonna make mine a little slightly purplish blue, I guess. But it can go wherever you want. Same deal with the tail. Select individual strands by holding shift and clicking. Go into texture and you can once again drop her the main color so it's nice and simple. Close out the edit and with Black Dragon you can right click and take and this will put it in your inventory, but you're gonna get little clones of it in your inventory. So if you messed up, your original won't be ruined. So go ahead and check out your pony now with that look at button. Double click the main, double click the tail. Again, if you're on a different browser, you're gonna to wanna to right click and add instead. And once again, we're gonna clean up. So take the pieces that you just colored and put them into your pony name folder and the other ones that are uncolored into your open pony parts folder. For whatever reason, sometimes your items are going to have little extra pieces on them. That's our tail for some reason, it has a ball on it. I'm going to right click it, edit it, select face, go to the texture tab, and raise the alpha to 100. This might be transparent texture or transparency on yours, just make it 100 so it disappears. And as you can see, it's lit up like a yellow ball, telling us that it's being edited right now. We'll close that. And we should have no more weird ball between the legs. Our knockoff Luna is looking pretty good, but she could use some accessories now. So let's use more of our H Mart card and buy something off the vendor. So go ahead and cycle through here, see if there's anything you want. There's a couple completely free things on here too, but we're gonna buy us a sweater or hoodie because they look cool wherever that may be there it is so re-equip your H mark card which should still be in the objects folder and then go through the motions again we're going to click the page it'll pop up in the corner claim the item it'll pop up once again click on keep and in your objects folder, you'll see it. Res it, click it, keep it, and there we go. We got our hoodie. Go ahead and delete all your trash as always. There it is. Like everything else, I'm gonna drag it over to my Luna folder. Open the Luna folder and double click it to add it. As always, if you're on Firestorm, right click and add. Gonna detach the card, same way you detach all the other interface stuff. And like the mane and tail, we can also color different parts of the sweater. So I'm gonna grab both of these white parts and I'm gonna turn them a little darker for my edgy lunar self. Now that we have an outfit, let's turn it into an actual outfit. So on your viewer up at the top here, we can close our inventory. Click on the t-shirt, 
and this is our outfit section. Let's go to the bottom and save as, we'll say like Luna hoodie for my hoodied Luna. We can go ahead and delete the one that's already in there. It's just the default human. Get out of there. Delete that. And now this is saved. So if we take it off, we can just click the wear button to put it right back on. We'll clean that up real quick. And I'm going to turn Luna into a bat pony now. Bat ponies are also completely free with Open Pony. So just like the Open Pony box, we're going to keep it, click it, and keep it. Find it in the inventory. Res it. Throw it in the box down there. Open it, keep it. So this is the bat kit. Find it in your inventory after deleting the box, of course. Gonna go down to its folder. Open that up and you can see all the bat pieces in here. But first we gotta take off some stuff from Luna here. So we're gonna open that default open pony box. We're gonna remove the regular ears. Gonna remove my Pegasus wings. And the Pegasus wing HUD does not work for bat wings, so get that off of there. And we're gonna put on the bat ears, nice and fluffy. The bat fangs, I put them on everything. And the bat wings, and of course the bat wing HUD to replace the Pegasus one. That'll let you control the wings. So we're gonna drag all these down to the mirror box folder once again. And the bat kit can go off to the pony pieces folder. Now we can also move these HUD elements that are laying around our screen. So let's close some of these windows real quick. And the bat wings are on the opposite side of our Pegasus wings. So we might as well put them over where the Pegasus wings are. Drag them over. Um, while you're editing a HUD piece, you can scroll the mouse wheel and it'll zoom out. So you can have a little bit more room. We'll drag that right above there and close it again and then the dots right there you click those and it'll swap the orientation of it so it's facing the direction you want it to be let's open the wings because we're going to be editing them soon here uh, we'll start with the good old ears though fluffy ears so once again we're going to use a dropper but now you see another minor issue with black dragon sometimes the dropper is a little finicky we're going to click around this pony until the dropper works and eventually we landed on the horn. The horn worked. Got the ears matching our coat color. And now the wings. I'm just going to manually edit these since they're usually a little darker than the coat anyway. So let's find a neat color. Something, something nice and dark there. That looks good. And then we're going to close the color window and we're going to select face and highlight all the bat sides. So they have top and bottom. Hold down shift, click each section, and go back to the color thing, and you can swap the membranes to a different color. I'm going to turn my purple. Might as well make my uh, knockoff Luna stand out among all the other knockoff Lunas in Second Life. Next up, we completely forgot to do the inside of the ears, so let's edit the ears and select face just like the wings. And we're just going to make that darker. That uh, looks good. There we go. All right, closing all that again. Uh, I noticed my wing HUD is off the screen, so I'm just going to edit it and move it over real quick. So now it matches my expression HUD down there. Close it. Um, so here's the cool thing about outfits. We have a regular Luna and now a Bat Luna. So let's save this as the Bat Hoodie Luna. And now we can really quickly change between regular Luna and Bat Luna. Just by clicking the wear button. So she is now regular alicorn again, and I'm going back to bat, because I prefer it. And Second Life is all about self-expression, or something. I think we're pretty much done here, so I'm just going to clean up some final crap in here. Got a lot of random files in my folders. Let's put the bat mare box into the Luna folder, might as well. It's pretty much all just Luna at this point. Uh, you can always go get another box at the kiosk, and as many boxes as you want, really. Make new ponies or use pre-existing ones. Just make sure you copy everything before you do. We're going to go explore Ponyville now. Um, if you ever wonder where to find people in this specific sim, 
Second Life is all about different worlds that you can explore. They're called Sims. And Ponyville is somewhat active. It's got a couple cool members here. Make some friends, talk about ponies. You have an expression hood on the side here to do a bunch of different emotes, dances, hoof bumps, you know, the normal. There's also hundreds more to find out there. Some of them are free. Actually, a lot of them are free. Um, some of them are like 25 cents. Anyone can make anything for open pony, so a lot of people make stuff and then sell it to other people in their stores. Um, if you want to find people, say you're in like a new sim or something, there's this two heads at the top that you can click on, and that's your radar. That'll show anyone nearby in the specific area you're at. Um, earlier in the video, you picked up a landmark for Nayberry, which is another pony sim. You can find a bunch of people here right now. So just pop open that radar and go fly on over to them. See what they're up to. I'll put a list of pony sims to go visit in the description of the video. So you can go see what's out there. Some of them are adult only. So obviously don't go there if you're not an adult. You'll have to change that in your actual Second Life security settings and your options. As for regular sims, we can find these little freebies laying around outside of all these shops. So run around, collect some stuff. This is like a mane and tail rainbow thing. There's hundreds, maybe thousands of items out there to collect. And as you wander around filling your inventory with stuff, you can find them in the recent tab here. A little easier. That about covers the basics. Enjoy your pony. Make some friends. If you have skills in 3D modeling or scripting, you can pretty much do anything in existence for your pony. If you have any questions, I've included the Open Pony Discord in the video description. They're super helpful for new people that want to learn how to do stuff with their horses. Now go be a pony. Have fun.